Here are the six AI stories that mattered this week in less than 10 minutes. Number one, prompt injection vulnerabilities. Yes, ChatGPT is at risk. Tenable research discovered that it is possible for you to do a search for a given topic, for ChatGPT to trigger an internet search based on the text you input, and for that internet search to turn up a poisoned page. What do I mean? A page that has been deliberately played and designed to rank highly for a particular topic, and then search GPT, which is the agent chat GPT uses to search the internet, will find that page because you asked for that topic pull that page's context inside ChatGPT to process it for you and suffer a prompt injection attack. In the research Tenable conducted, they discovered that that was good enough that it was able to successfully pull all of your ChatGPT history and silently send it to an attacker. Now, this hasn't been documented in the wild, but it is a real vulnerability, and we have not seen a published fix from OpenAI yet. Story number two, Salesforce surveyed more than 6,000 data and analytics leaders globally, and 84% of them say that their data strategies need a complete overhaul, quote unquote, before they can figure out how to get AI working. How do you read that? Fundamentally, what leaders are finally coming to is what I have been banging the drum on for months. You cannot have solid, agentic AI strategies at a business level if you do not get your data architecture figured out. There is no shortcuts. Traditional data warehouses, for example, assume you can copy data to a central location, clean it, and analyze it. But agentic AI needs real-time access to source systems because agents can't wait for overnight ETL jobs. That's just one tiny example. There's so many others. So yes, I think they're right, and there is a huge opportunity ahead there. Story number three. We had three enterprise AI platforms that are agentic AI launch within just two days, all over November 3 and 4. Snowflake, New Relic, and SnapLogic all launched comprehensive agentic AI platforms. Snowflake Intelligence went GA with 1,000 customers, deploying 15,000 plus agents in just a few months. New Relic and SnapLogic also launched. All three prominently feature model context protocol support. This continues the story of MCP appearing across major platforms and becoming embedded in the ecosystem. Continuing the agent story, GitHub Agent HQ makes multi-agent development standard. At, Git at GitHub Universe in late October, Microsoft and GitHub announced Agent HQ, which is a mission control for orchestrating multiple AI agents together, whether they're from OpenAI or Anthropic or Google or other places. Developers can run the agents in parallel and share configurations across teams. That approach where developers don't have to pick a model is going to increasingly become the standard. Developers have had to do that themselves in building configurability into their systems, and now we're seeing the infrastructure layer pick up, and increasingly that expectation of optionality is just comes built in. Story number five, Cognizant deploys Claude to 350,000 employees. Why is this news? Because this is one of the largest public deployments of AI that has been released. A third of a million employees globally. The partnership extends beyond internal use. Cognizant will repackage Claude for implementation services for its Fortune 500 clients. And Anthropic is uh, projecting Cognizant, along with other major B2B deals, as a key reason why it will get $70 billion in revenue in 2028, with Claude Code alone approaching a billion dollars in annualized revenue just this year. So the deal is validating a couple of things. One, Anthropic continues to be on a terrific growth tear with B2B clients. They are picking up major, major deals, and they are elevating their revenue projections as a result. The projected $70 billion in revenue is substantially up from where Claude projected revenue just a few months ago. I think one thing to take away from this is that Cognizant is going to have a good reputation with the clients it works with, partly because Cognizant will have deployed the same tooling internally that it is recommending externally. Therefore, the 350000 deployment is both a customer-facing asset and also a lab laboratory for future work Cognizant can do because they can do the back office automation work, whatever else they want to do with Claude, and then take that and repackage it for front-end selling. Last but not least, story number six, OpenAI hits 1 million business customers. So this November 4th, OpenAI announced it passed a million business company uh, customers claiming that it was the fastest growing business platform in history. For context, that means uh, that there are about 40% growth uh, in two months in chat GPT for work seats. So again, not year over year, 40% growth in two months and enterprise seats up next year over year. Codex usage is up 10x since August. 
tax since August, guys. The thing to take away here is really that the growth story that OpenAI is seeing through deals like this is part of why Sam Altman is so optimistic for the hundreds of billions of dollars in revenue he plans to see by 2030. There's been a lot of conversation about OpenAI's spending plans, their liabilities, who plans to fund their data centers, all of that. Part of why they feel they are on a financially secure footing is because they see absolutely stunning usage. If you are up 10x in 90 days on something, you start to make pretty big projections pretty fast because you start to see how much of the world is interested in your product. And that's my main takeaway. Even though we see a tremendous amount of challenge in AI implementation. We see the bugs getting released. I talked about that at the top of this video. We see challenges in agentic deployment. The amount of demand that we have for AI everywhere I look is off the charts. You see that in the Anthropic story this week. You see that in the OpenAI story this week. There is no upper bound that we have found for demand for intelligence. And so that is why I view problems like the one Tenable disclosed as real, as needing to be fixed, but not in any way getting in the way of the kind of demand tidal wave that we're all rushing to meet in the age of AI. And that's a pretty exciting thing to be a part of. Good luck out there.